Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about NPTEL problem solving through programming in C week 10 assignment 10 answers. The due date for this assignment is 5 10 2022. The first bit is what is the output of the C program given below. Here in that uh, program we are printing the length of str1 and the length of str2 is printed. The length of str1 is uh, 6 because this string is terminated with the slash 0. Every string is uh, terminated with the slash 0. That uh, slash 0 character also can be counted. So here NPTL that is 5 characters plus slash 0 is 1 character. 5 plus 1, 6 characters. The length of str1 is 6. Next one. The length of str2. So here in str2, it is not a string, but every character is enclosed within single code. At that time, slash 0 is not, is not there. It cannot be considered. So that what is the length of str2? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So here slash 0 is not there and slash 0 is not considered because it is not a string. Okay. So that in the str1 we are considering slash 0 character. In str2 we are not considering slash 0. So because of that reason the length of str1 n1 is equal to 6. The length of str2 that is n2 is equal to 11. Next. Second bit. Bisection method is used to find. So bisection method is generally used to find the roots of a function. So that answer is option C. Third bit. In dash, the search starts at the beginning of the list and checks every element in the list. So that is option A, a linear search. Answer is option A. Fourth bit, what is the worst case complexity of a bubble sort? So the worst case complexity of bubble sort can take more number of comparisons. So then the time complexity is order of n square. So answer is option D. Next, fifth bit, what maximum number of comparisons can occur when a bubble sort is implemented? Assume that there are n elements in the array. So answer is half into n into n minus 1. So answer is option B because the time complexity of bubble sort is order of n square in best case, average case and worst case. So half into n into n, n square minus n. So highest polynomial is n square. So that answer is option B. n into n minus 1 by 2 that is order of n square. Next, sixth one. What are the correct intermediate steps of the following data sets when it is being sorted with bubble sort 7, 4, 1, 8, 2? Here we are using bubble sort logic. After applying the bubble sort logic, so we are getting the answer is B, option B. In the bubble sort, adjacent elements are compared. First, 7 is compared with the 4. They are they are not in sorted order so that we have to put them in sorted order so that is 4 a 7 next one 7 and 1 are compared they are not in sorted order so after putting them in sorted order we are getting 1 8 so then 2 so this procedure is applied until all the elements of the uh, array can be sorted. So, answer is option B. Next one. Which of the following statement is correct for the two arrays with respect to A and B? Int star x of 5, 
int star y of i a is array of pointers b is pointer to an array so what is the correct answer so here x is a and y is b so this is a array of pointers and this one is pointer to an array x is array of pointers y is pointer to an array so by considering the syntax of both array of pointers and pointer to an array so answer is option a next eighth bit find out the following find out the output of the following program in the main function int star ptr comma a equal to 5 so address of a can be assigned to the ptr now ptr contains the address of 5 next star ptr is equal to star ptr minus 3 okay star ptr contains the value of a so 5 minus 3 that is 2 star ptr is 2 so what is the value of a also 2 answer is 2 comma 2 next one ninth bit what is the solution of the equation given below using bisection method up to four decimal places so after solving this equation by using bisection method so we are getting the answer minus 0 0.0790 so this it can take uh, approximately 10 to 15 minutes for solving this problem so after solving whatever the answer we are getting we are placing that answer minus 0 0.0790 next one 10th bit what will be the output of the following program in the main function int a equal to array of 10 comma 12 comma 6 comma 7 comma 2 int i comma star p p equal to a plus 4 for i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus print of percentage d p of minus i whenever p of minus i is given the array elements are printed in reverse order okay my uh, negative index is used for printing the array elements in reverse order so that is 2 7 6 10 2 7 6 12 10 answer is option d okay so now see the answers once again first bit answer is option b second bit answer is option c third bit answer is option a fourth bit answer is option d fifth bit answer is option b sixth bit answer is option b seventh bit answer is option a eighth bit answer is 2 comma 2 ninth bit answer is minus 0 0.0790 and the 10th bit answer is option d now we have to submit the answers So thank you for taking week 10 assignment 10. So I hope all of you understanding uh, the answers. If you understanding that answers, click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So Dibbela Srinivasara. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment session. I will try to clarify your doubts. Thank you, thank you one and all for watching this video.